Hey guys, what's up? So today's video is going to be a, just, a make, just a makeup look that I've been wearing recently, so I figured I would share it with you guys. I'm going to get comfortable here first, sorry. Okay, so my hair is not proper with me today. This piece just wants to hang out in front of my face. This piece just wants to do whatever, so whatever. But anyways, so I wanted to film this video for you guys today that I haven't got to film and I wanted to film it for you so my hair is just bugging me and I can't film a video like that. But anyways, so yeah, I'm going to film my video today for you guys and basically it's just like the makeup that I've been wearing recently so yeah. So I'm just going to show you what I've been doing recently so yeah, I'm excited. I just said to you like five times but anyways, it's okay. So this video is going to have like lots of new products because I've been using lots of lots of new products recently. So I'm going to show you one and I'm going to start off with my um, eyes first just because they're really simple and then I'll move on to the rest of my face here. My eyebrow itches, I'm really sorry. Okay, so today's new product, well I'm going to zoom in first so you can see. So today's first new product that I'm going to be using is by Kat Von D. It is a Kat Von D um, eye primer. It is prime plus correct. It does have a tint of a color to it. So I'm going to be using this today for the video. So hopefully you guys can see it pretty well. I hope so. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's really cute packaging. I haven't reused any of her products before. So I'm really excited to sit down here and use it. And I like this eye primer so far because I've used it a lot recently in my tutorials. So I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyes. This is also good if you have like, oops, if you have veins on your eyes or um, just coloration. This is really good for that. Um, I think that it is. So I'm going to turn my camera. Sorry about that. So I really think that this is really pretty and I've been liking this recently. So yeah. I don't want to wear my hair curly with my extensions except for my senior pictures and my hair is just like in my face and it's like huge like I never wear as much curl in my hair but today I'm just like curl 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 let's go I'm all about curls today so so yeah I'm gonna get into the video so I am also working on getting an editing system um I do not have one right now that is why all my videos are so long. Usually they would be much shorter. Um, I don't have one right now. Okay, my hair is just like me. Okay, so I don't have one right now. So that's how this is going to be for a while. Um, if there's a certain part of the video you just want to see, you can always go ahead and just skip forward. You're not going to hurt my feelings. It's just, you know. So I just realized I have the wrong thing up. So today I'm going to be using something totally different on my channel and I can't really show you because it's really huge, the thing that I'm using today. Um, I got this last year for Christmas, but this year I have really found a love for it. It is an Estee Lauder thing. It was a holiday thing that they had. If you um, bought anything from Estee Lauder, this came in, came in like a package thing. So, um, yeah, oh, oh, okay, um, all right. What is this doing? Okay. So yeah, it did come in like a package thing. What is my hair doing? Oh my god, I'm just, I'm just like playing with my hair this whole time. I'm sorry guys. It is bugging me. It's like in my face. It's like going all towards my face. But anyways, whatever. Just, just forget it. It's, it's fine. So yeah, I'm going to be using this palette, but you guys aren't going to be able to see it, fortunately. But it's okay. So I'll try to describe the colors I'm using. But hopefully they do have these. I don't think they have these separately. So let's start talking. So, alright, so I'm going to zoom in so you can see, if I zoom in kind of far so you can see. So I'm using like this color, it's like a brownish color, and I'm just using it for my crease. It's really pretty though. So I've been using this recently, this like I've been grabbing, I, like I've been going toward this color. So. And I'm using these colors that you're gonna see so much recently. Well, you can see this pretty well. Like I feel like you hear, but. So this is just 
self-explanatory. You guys know how the drill goes for the blending and stuff. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, especially if you do makeup on your own or you are a makeup artist or, you know, like you know, so. And I'm just kind of bringing it right to the bottom, just a little bit, just to bring in to where the next color is going to land. So I don't wear this look every day, but when I wear this look, I really like it because it's really pretty. And these colors are like the pigmentation is really pretty. So I'm just going to wipe off my brush here. So I'm going to use this next color, and this color is really pretty. And it's kind of dark, but it's not. It's got like a red tint to it, but this has been one of my favorite colors. So this color is really good with it. I've been wearing this a lot. And I just like always grab towards this color. But this color is really pretty. But it's dark, but it's really pretty. So when I don't want to wear a dark lip, this is what I wear. Now, I am not a person dark lips but I've been really into it late, lately so you will see lots of tutorials with dark lips I'm gonna tell you about this brush I'm using in just a second I wanted to get this done first though like I said this whole look is gonna tie into whatever I'm doing because um, it will that's why I said I was putting that down more into my lid here well yeah, yes. So, yeah, that's what it looks like so far. This look I've been wearing a lot recently because fall has like common stuff. So, I've been using it recently. So, I'm take a makeup wipe and just kind of clean it up just a little bit. Just to clean up the edges. Or I'm just going to take this blending brush and just kind of just. Oh. So I'm going to show you guys the brushes that I'm using. Sorry guys, I've been like really out of like whack lately. So the brush, the first brush I use for like my crease and stuff is the Morphe M332 brush. And I use this a lot in my tutorials. And then the other brush that I use to apply the dark burgundy color is this one right here. This one is by e.l.f. And the other one is by Morphe. So I'm using these a lot recently so I'm just gonna pull out my lid just a little bit just to blend the color just to make sure it's really blended so that's really important as well so that's what I'm doing and that's what you see me doing here so this look I've been wearing recently so much um so yeah so to do my lashes today I'm using the benefit of their real mascara this tutorial is going to be long so if this isn't for you make sure you skip ahead to the parts you actually want to see because I'm telling you every single thing that I've been wearing recently. Even if it's to school or even if it's to just on the weekends. This mascara has been my ultimate favorite. I buy all these drugstore mascaras and I always seem to go back to this one every single time. Because I just love the way that it makes my lashes. That's why it's called Benefit. They're real. Because it makes my lashes look like no other. So I love this and it brings out my lashes. And it coats them really well too. So this is pretty much the only mascara I will wear. Unless I find something else or love for something else. But... But I haven't. I have been trying lots and lots of different mascaras, and I haven't found one yet. So, I mean, I may find one in the future. I may not. It just all depends. So, as you can see, this has been my favorite, and I've been wearing this a lot, a lot recently. So. Just figured I would show you. So, um, this is also like a good makeup look if you like want to go out or something. This is really, really good for that too if you've been wanting to do that. So, oops. 
also palette. It's huge. Like, I can show you guys, but I'm pretty sure it won't fit on camera. So now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my face here, which I'm going to zoom out so that you guys can see me do my face. So today, for primer, I'm going to be mix. Actually, I'm not mixing because I'm out of my other one. So today I'm going to use the Rimmel Stand Up Primer. You can use it alone or whatever you guys want to do. I am putting it on my face today. So this is what I'm using for my face today. Just going to move my hair back just because I don't want to get it in my hair. So. So, for my face today, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Foundation. This has been my life recently. I have been using it, and I went through a bottle already of it, and I'm in the shade 0.3, if you're wondering. This is lightweight, but I would recommend that if you want a more, a more of a coverage, then maybe add a little bit more. But... This has been my go-to foundation, and for the brush that I'm using today, it is by um, Makeup Geek. I almost said Morphe, but that's why I call myself. So I like this foundation because I feel like it just brings on my skin, and I just feel like it makes my makeup look absolutely, makes it look absolutely amazing. So that's why I really like this foundation and I feel like it like it lasts all day. Like I wore it to school all day for the first time, like actually. Um and I really, really liked it. I felt like it um stayed all day and I felt like it didn't move since six thirty actually six twenty I put this foundation on this morning. So, um and it didn't move. Because that's when I did my face today. Well before I left for school. I should say. I'm just blending it all the way down my neck and everything. Because um, you know you want it to blend. And I love it because it goes like a long way and it's just completely gorgeous. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the foundation here. Move my hair out of the way here. And just put a little bit. On my forehead and my nose. I'm just buffing it into my forehead and stuff. I'm coming down my nose. I'm just blending it everywhere else that I didn't put it yet. Okay. I'm going to let my hair back down. And then I have the foundation on. And I really like it because it's really, really pretty. So... Next, I'm going to go ahead and do concealer, because concealer is really important for me, because I feel like if I don't have concealer on when I'm at like school and stuff, I feel like you can just see my circles, and nobody likes some dark circles now, do we? So, I'm trying to find my concealer, which I cannot find. Okay, we found it. Alright, so I'm going to use my concealer here. I'm just going to conceal my face now, and it might look a lot, because it probably is a lot, because I love that highlighted look and I just feel like it's really pretty so I'm just gonna do that also let me know if you guys like no good like lights because I need some good lighting I want to order some I think I'm gonna order them off Amazon I want like lights for my camera because I usually use natural lighting so let me know some good lights that you guys recommend. I feel like I would ask because I feel like I need some. I'm just gonna use the same brush just to, um, I'm also gonna be looking up when I'm doing this, so I'm probably gonna be looking at the camera. So hopefully that it doesn't like mess up my eyeshadow or anything. So, I'm just kind of like turning my brush and like making it come up under my makeup and stuff. So now once I've pretty much like done that and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and set my face and then I'm going to move on to my brows. 
So for my face today, I'm using the Maybelline Stay Matte Press Powder with a Real Techniques Makeup Powder Brush. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's Monday, guys. So I usually try to film videos on Mondays for you guys because it's usually like a good day for me to film a video, so it works out. So I'm just setting everything and I'm just... And I'm setting every single thing that's on my face because I don't want it to move. So for my brows now, I mean I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see me in my brows. So hopefully you guys can see pretty well. I have to fix my shirt, so I'm really sorry. Okay, so for brows today, I'm gonna be using the Anastasia or Anastasia, I think it's Anastasia, Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Caramel, and it's the Brow Wiz. So, this is something new on my channel. I don't know if I've ever used this. I think I have one. But, yeah. I've also changed the shade of my brows recently, too. Just want to let you guys know that. Yeah. This is my all-time favorite brow product. I always end up going back to this brow product because it is my favorite. So, just wanted to let you guys know that this is my favorite. And I think it's most every person that does makeup is, this is their, basically their favorite too. Sometimes I always go up just a little bit too far and I don't need to. But then better yet, it's okay. So now I'm just going to make my brow work right here look a little bit natural. Because it's been my goal recent goal oh my god I can't talk. This has been my go-to thing. Making my eyebrows look pretty natural. Um so I've been making them look pretty natural. So once that's done, my brows are complete. So now I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. I am just gonna use the palette that I've been using. I'm gonna use the um uh, okay, oh my god. I'm gonna use this um Estee Lauder palette that I've been using. I'm just gonna use the bronze shade. Who's in it? Because I think it's really pretty. And I've been using it recently too. Oh my gosh, my hair must have just Pulls out of my way. So I'm just going to go ahead and just contour that face because it's important. I'm just going to do a little bit of contouring. Not too much contouring, so just a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing, and I realized you guys couldn't see what I was doing on the other side of my face. So sorry about that guys, I didn't mean to do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just contour this side and warm up my face on this side too. This bronzer is kind of light for me right now, but once it gets more like in the winter section kind, it won't be, so. And by the way, I'm using an e.l.f. contour brush, by the way. I don't know if I said that. But this has been my favorite bronzer recently, even though I usually use the next contour kit. So now, once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and highlight my cheekbones. And today I'm also going to be some, doing using something different. And I'm going to be using this right here. This is the Too Faced Candlelight Glow Trio thingy. Is it a trio? It's a duo. I'm sorry. So when you open it up, I'm going to show you, it has a pink side and a white side. I'm using the white side today. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to be using a Makeup Geek highlighting brush today. So I'm just going to, if you, oh my gosh, look at this piece of hair, guys. It's just sticking up. Ugh, okay. So I'm just going to kind of come right here and just dust it on the hollows of my cheeks. This is really, really pretty. Let me remind you. I love this highlighter because I think it's really pretty and I like it so. 
Sometimes I think I overdo it on camera, but. I will try to list everything in the down bar for you if I can. But I don't buy anything online, so I don't know how well that's going to work out. But look how pretty it is. Is it showing up on camera? I think so. I'm just kind of dressing it. And then if you want, you can do your nose or whatever. But um, I just like this highlight because I just feel it's really pretty. So. so this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. I really like it a lot. So I'm going to do a little bit of a brow highlight. And then guess what time it is. We are done with this video. I'm going to use it from the same palette that I've been using. I'm just going to take off excess. And I'm just going to go underneath my brow just a little bit to give it a brow highlight because brow highlights are pretty. You need to use the same highlighter that I just used, but it's okay. And today I'm going a little bit dramatic just because I feel like I want to. And it's okay. Going dramatic is okay. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is how my makeup turned out. This is what I would wear to school. So, I'm also going to use the um, Urban Decay Chunk Makeup Setting Spray. Woo! So, I'm just going to shut my eyes really quick and spray this. Okay. So, there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm going to fix my hair really quick again for you guys because I just feel like it looks weird. So, sorry about that. But... So this is how it turned out. So I'm going to zoom out. And let you guys see the finished look. I'm going to zoom in extra so you guys can see. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Let me know what you guys want to see, and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.